welcome to my channel so in the today's lecture we are going to discuss the difference between file system and database management system okay so what is the difference between file system and the database management system initially we didn't have the database management system we were using file system only okay what i mean by file system so what is our purpose the our purpose is we want to reduce our manual work okay we want to perform all the operations very faster so when we didn't have the database management system then what we were doing we were using ms word or we were using ms excel okay for storing the data if you look at in the ms excel we have a sheets we have a sheets we have a tables in which you are going to save your data in a systematic manner okay so in the ms word also we have the feature for creating table in ms word we also can create table okay we can create table like this as per our requirement that how many number of rows and columns we want so if you look at in ms word we also have a feature of find okay so if if i am inserting data in ms word like this okay then what can i do i can use find option to search for data faster okay let's suppose i have 100 to 200 entries in the ms word table if i want to search any data faster then what i would be using i would be using the find option for searching any data faster and we also have a feature of replace okay or replace all if you want to update your data okay if you want to modify your data let's suppose you want to change name arti okay you want to update the name arti with the name neha so you can also do that with the help of replace and replace all but let me tell you if you have same entries like this we have a two duplicate rows in the ms word okay we have a two same duplicate rows so in that case we would not be able to identify that kind of duplication in ms word okay and for any kind of operation you have to perform in ms word is really going to take some time so if you have to perform any operation on the ms word table it is really going to be very time consuming okay so the speed of the operation in ms word is very less you cannot perform operations very faster and effectively in the ms word so if you don't have the knowledge of database management system only then you can go for the file system but the operations in the file systems are really not very effective so then in in the software projects okay in the software projects or in the companies big big companies we really use database management system because we want to perform our operations at a very fast speed okay we want our speed to be very fast with the help of database management system you can insert your data you can delete you can update 
update or you can search your data at a very faster rate as compared to file system and if you have to determine that if there is any duplication in data you can also determine with the help of database management system so the total number of operations that we can perform are actually more in database management system as compared to the file system okay so let's suppose you have let's suppose you have these three rows okay so with the help of database management system software or mysql what you can do you can fetch many rows at a one particular point of time this first and third okay these two rows you can pick at the very faster rate so the total number of operations in database management system are also more as compared to the file system one more disadvantage of file system is that it is really not secure okay it is really not secure but your database management system is very much secure software okay it is going to secure it is going to protect your data so let me tell you some more differences between file system and database management system so in the last video i told you that for a one particular project we are going to have one database okay so we have a one database and within a one database we are going to have many number of tables like student table we have a course table we have a fees table okay so there is a relationship between these two tables okay there is a relationship between student and course table there is a relationship between course and fees table okay so we have a relationship between the tables but if you are using the file system and for each file one file is actually your one table okay so we have a many tables in many files okay but if you are using file system then we cannot make relationship between files there is no relation between the files we cannot make relationship between the different different files okay so that relationship feature is actually not present in the file system but you can establish relationship between the tables with the help of database management system okay so i hope that you are clear with the difference between file system and database management system so if you have any query i have mentioned my email id in the description box you can contact me on that email id so thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel